Welcome to Getting Geeky with your host, Gina Shrek, and the occasional special guest, bringing tech tips in bite sized pieces. She's getting geeky, getting goofy, and yeah, getting random. Welcome to Getting Geeky. Today we're going to talk about integration. Integration with our social media tools. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to show you something with one of my favorite cookies. I first discovered these biscottis on the United Airlines flight when they used to feed us. And they're delicious when dunked. I don't know if you're a dunker, but these are the best when they're dunked. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So a little integration is good. But a lot of integration, not so good. So if I just pour them all in, not a good thing. Kind of gross. Too much. Too much of a good thing. Actually, it's still pretty good. <laughs> Okay, but for illustration's sake, too much of a good thing is not a good thing. So when we choose to integrate friend feed and Twitter into our Facebook pages, because we're all looking to simplify and combine all of these tools, but too much of a good thing is not so good for your friends and followers. So all of us have gone in and we've added friend feed or we've added Twitter into our Facebook pages. So our Facebook fans, and I know who you are, you're overwhelmed when you open up your Facebook page. It's like a chain smoker on a cigarette break. It's rapid fire tweets filling up your page, all from probably me. But here's how to manage this the right way. And again, this is my humble opinion. But I have now decided to take those applications off of Facebook. I know, we hear cheers from the crowd right now. So, what I have done is on Facebook, just go to your home page or your profile page, and then the upper right hand corner, the settings link. Hover over the settings link, and it'll drop down a menu, and you'll see application settings. This will bring up all the applications you currently have connected to Facebook. So you want to find that application settings for friend feed or Twitter, or some of you probably have both, therefore you are double feeding all your Facebook in there, uh, all your Facebook fans. So you're going to take that off by just clicking on the X that's to the right of that application. That will remove it. Now here's my suggestion for those of you Twitterers. You want to be using a tool like TweetDeck. And I say like TweetDeck, of course, that's my favorite application, my favorite tool for Twitter, but others love Seismic or you're using Twirl or something else to manage Twitter. I love TweetDeck, and one of the reasons is it has a Facebook link on there. You can decide certain tweets are Facebook worthy. You want these going to everyone, and therefore you can... Put that tweet in and select to go to Facebook updates as well. So, too much of a good thing grosses out your friends. It might be good to you, but not so good to them. So those of you who have been connected with me on Facebook, now when you open up Facebook, this is what you're going to hear. That's right. Silence. And I know you'll be sad. You'll miss all my updates, and you'll probably start sending me nudges. Hey, Gina, what's going on? We haven't heard from you in two minutes. Send us an update. <laughs> but for the rest of you out there, let's not overwhelm our friends and fans on Facebook. So was that easy? This was actually pretty easy. That was easy. See, he even agrees. So until next time, keep getting geeky. Welcome. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I remember, I remember, I remember.